Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around guiding you through the heck bug event and if you don't know what the heck bug event is, it's the Valentine's event that we got going on in Tro right now, I can show you right here from 7th of February to the 20th, so the next 14 days, we do have the heck bug event going on and this is a simple one because we only have the one uh, quest line usually we can have two maybe we'll get two in the future uh hopefully i'll actually ask on the discord if we can't get a two-parter again that would be very nice it's always kind of difficult to go backwards <laughs> you know we always want more as a person right we always want more uh but of course uh we do got these quest step right here but we also got the 14 days of the daily ones remember to do them on saturdays for that double xp potion and also that little trick i'll show you guys that in the hub in uh, in before we go into step number one uh how you are going to complete Thursday's one because there is a very simple way to do it as well. I've done it before, so you know you can skip ahead to step number one if you want to do so. But I'll show you guys how you do very easily on the daily or the adventure on Thursday, which is pretty simple. And I can show you guys in the hub how you are going to complete that one. That will give you three empowered gym boxes, which for some people are quite hard to come by as you are maybe starting out as a new player. So that's very good to do as well. And that double XP potion kind of works for everyone as well. So nothing really much more to say about the Hegbuck event. Let's just jump into the hub before we hop into the first step. So I'll see you guys in the hub or in step number one. All right, so in the hub, before we head into step number one, I'm gonna show you guys, like I said, how you can complete very easily the Thursday one because it can be a little tricky as well. You can do, of course, quest, a quest from a club, but you can also go right over here. We are in the hub as you can see here very wintry still right over here we got the bomber uh, hut or corner of the hub i guess you can call it and right down here there is earn a bomber real coin so you can do this quest on thursday jump into a uh, bomber real and then get make sure you at least get to position number eight because that's where you get at least one uh, bomber real coin and then when you then exit if you at least hit eight in the place eight, rank eight, whatever you call it, uh, you will actually get one of these coins and that will complete it. So you do have to collect it from your collections. Uh, let me see if I can get up here. So it doesn't complete, uh, just to make sure you, you know, guys know this, it doesn't complete when you, you know, exit the uh, one, if you have to go in here and then you can claim the coin and then it will complete and then it will also complete Thursday's adventure. It doesn't take very long to get in there. It doesn't take very long to get eight at least and then you can always just jump off if that's what you want or do the whole match if you want to do so. And if you're doing PvP anyways, hey, it's a good chance you are going to get all this anyways. But that's a good, uh, easy way to get yourself that one. If you don't want to do club quests or other quests that is out there, this one is always here and just pretty simple to pick up, do, and then get your three empowered gem boxes as well on Thursday. So that was that. Now we can head into step number one. All right, so for step number one, we are actually also in the hub. <laughs> we need to use the day, Radiant Day Spring, and that is in the hub. But you can also have it in your cornerstone. Some people already have it. You can also craft it to put you in your cornerstone or in the club world. We do have one in Club Wahoo if you want to pick that one up. But it's always in the hub, so I'm just going to use that one because everybody has access to that one. It doesn't matter which one you are going to use. But you can see this is the hub. This is where we are at. And then behind here, this is where the snowman is. There's also called the Radiant Day Spring spring and that's the where we have to craft the thing so we need some totters some tater totters uh, these can be picked up of course on the marketplace or maybe have some lying around already but they are of course through gardening and yes i have a little mod that i can click right here um, that i can show you i will link it in the description the mod if you want this mod as well but it's also part of my uh, actually i will link the whole mod pack down there and you can find it in the mod pack on trophosaurus that's my mod pack uh, i've collected all the mods that i'm using and this is one of the newest ones i have and it's pretty awesome you can just click here right you can see right here and then you can just search and then you got these ones as well so we need 25 of these so either you can go ahead and do the gardening so if but if you're already doing gardening like if you don't have maxed out your gardening and your batches i would suggest you go ahead and do so if you just want to get it over with you of course can go ahead and buy it but as you can see they are pretty expensive uh, for getting 25 uh, i'm gonna get mine off the marketplace but uh, you guys uh, should definitely take the gardening time and do it if you guys uh, already, if you have maxed out the gardening, you don't really have to, but yeah, you can get them off the marketplace or uh, do them through gardening. But anyways, we also got the Sticky Icky and the Sticky Icky of course is also from the marketplace. As you can see here, they're also quite expensive. If you wanna go farm these, basically if you go to uh, places where there's bugs, for example, the medieval highlands, 
uh, right here actually in medieval highlands uh, i don't know i don't think like it doesn't matter which difficulty you do it on but it medieval highlands has a lot of bugs you know you know bees and stuff like that so those you basically just defeat you can also find them in the hub um also you know what is called ladybugs and stuff yeah those you can get them from as well or again you can get them off the marketplace then you need chocolate and then of course you need bleach bones bleach blo uh, bleach, bleach bones damn that's a hard word today Bleach Bones, of course, is from Dragonfire Peaks, but if you can't get into the Dragonfire Peaks up here, sometimes it also lower. There are some skulls on the ground. Uh, we'll get to Dragonfire Peaks during this video as well. And then you can see them, uh, you know, on the ground and you can defeat them. Or, again, you can get them from uh, the marketplace. Chocolate, on the other hand, I'll talk about that. You need, uh, <laughs> I don't even know if you can search for, oh, you can actually also buy chocolate. <laughs> I, I would not just suggest you buy this at all from the marketplace as all well. i'll show you guys where you can craft it and how you are going to get it because that's, that is very very expensive you can actually also get it through fishing so i have actually saved that's why i have 11 i actually save some of the fish that you fish from pools actually when you look like those actually give chocolate or if they were if they were catch caught in chocolate <laughs> if it was chocolate fish and then plasma fish and water fish and stuff like that so actually i'm hanging on to these because sometimes we are actually going to use them but they're not very uh crazy to to get come by so but yeah you can actually see here uh like i said three thousand this is very very overpriced very very overpriced because i'll show you guys right here before we get into step number two uh, to get uh, this one as well so i'll you can see guys this is what you need to craft this one and when you craft this one yes you are done with step number one but before that i'll see you guys over in the crafting house all right, so now we are over at the crafting house and this is the one with the big telescope on it and that's actually straight over from where we were at the Radiant Dayspring. Over here is a gardening bench. If you have one yourself, of course you can use that one as well, but you have to go down here under, uh, no, no, there, there we go, under the enthusiast. I think you have to have like 150, 100, about 100 gardening skill, but if you can see it in this tab, that means you are enough skill and there is the chocolate sponges and you can see here yes they do call cost of wild cupcakes but let's see a wild cupcake still 1400 but you only need two of them and you can get these of course from just from candoria right so just go there and they are also all over the place and glim is not very expensive either so you can go ahead and get yourself these if you want to and then of course make the sponges and then go to candoria and throw those sponges in in lava oh not lava <laughs> chocolate of course the big pools of chocolate just throw them have it in your heart bar throw them down there and you'll get chocolate back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of ones I need. And I will also go ahead and complete step number one as you can as well. So that was step number one. Let's get into step number two. All right, guys, step number two. Don't get confused up there. It says three out of seven. I accidentally hit my an R button. So I actually threw the bag because now that we have the bag, you can see it's right here. We crafted it through it. Uh, it's going to last every uh, 14 days that the event is going on. So you can throw this. As you can see, my little pet guy is also there because I threw it. So all you have to do is make sure it's in your hotbar. And then you just basically just hit that hotbar and you throw it like you see there. And then it also spawns the little guy. We're going to need it for the next step, for step number three. But yeah, all you have to do is do that. And uh, it basically completes step number two. So there's not really not much to it. I did it in the club world right here. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to throw it. And then it, oh, yeah, well, yeah, that was step number two. So yeah. Yeah. all you have to do is do that and also that spawns a little guy we're gonna need that for step number three so yeah throw the bag basically and uh, that will complete your step number two and we can move on to step number three all right so for step number three we have to defeat uh, the heck buck in this stage infestation in the dragonfire peaks and i went to dragonfire peaks as you can see here it's the fire biome if you can call it like that and i went to the one that has the most you can see this one up here but you can find it also in the lower biomes down here of course not down outside just the inner circle if you can say it like that you can find the dragonfire peaks as well but this has the most of it so that's also where you're going to find the most heck but we only need 10 of them so as you can see already i've got two because i've been in range but actually what you do is that you walk up to them as you can see right here and you can see i can't do any damage to it and it's like i'm pretty strong right so why can't i only do any damage to them there is an event invader there, by the way but all you have to do as when you get up you find these with the hearts on them you of course make sure you throw down your guy your uh, this guy here because he's going to remove the hearts and then you can actually defeat them as well sometimes you can you have to defeat them sometimes they just come out to complete if that makes any sense so you just run around it dragon fire peaks i can see there's one up here he got also defeated and actually also completed that one so we're going to go over here 
make sure we throw down our bag so that it removes the power shield it has. It's a little bit lagging now because everybody's gonna go here. Um, so we're gonna throw here and it has to hit it. And then it's either like, uh, it be very uh, cool, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> become angry if that makes any sense. Uh, there was also a guy up here. So you actually don't have to do it yourself. You can just follow somebody that also has it. I don't know if there is enough here. Uh, it's making love, let's see if it, uh, then there was not uh, nobody here. This was a little bit of a small area and it was kind of included, but you can go here. If you can't defeat it yourself, you can always go there as well. So I will uh, get my last three of them and then we can also, it also drops by the way, these uh, boxes that you probably need. You can sell these, these sell pretty well, but there's some stuff in it that you really want to, to get as well. But they, I think they can also be traded and stuff like that. By the way, these are the bleach bones. Uh, of course, this is a mod that I have, this one that looks here. I will link that, well, that's linked in the mod pack as well, but you just go up ahead and that's gonna give you the bleach bones as well. But like I said, I'm gonna get my last three infant stations <laughs> and then i'll see you guys in oh that way i got one more yes let's go on to your left <laughs> so i'll see you guys in step number four all right guys so for step number four we have to help the hegbox fall in love instead of defeating them we need to have them fall in love and we keep going with our bag so we're going to go down here and see if it's going to fall in love with us or actually hate us so usually oh this one actually fell in love with us and actually gave us also an ally i already have this one so i can sell that one as well but you can see now one of them is fallen in love with us and sometimes they actually uh be angry at us and some you know sometimes they're in love sometimes they are not so usually i feel like it's the small ones that does it but it can't be both the big ones and the small ones so if they do um you know it's random if they fall in love with you or they hate you so let's see if this one gonna fall in love with us or hate us uh, it actually fell not oh it didn't it didn't all right let's uh, see it can be both the big ones and the small ones i just feel like the small ones do us better so this is random just keep going again if they don't if you can't defeat them it doesn't matter um it don't matter if you can't defeat them uh you can still go here and it, you just need to put this one down you might uh, get a hit a lot but if if you they basically get angry at you you just move on to the next one and just go 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 and take the next one and this one again didn't fall in love with me i don't know what's wrong with me i just want to find love let's see if i can't find one more you, you come on come on be my friend ah oh, yeah it seemed like it was but didn't okay let you you come out of the lava come out of the lava yes go 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 uh uh i didn't fall in love i just want one to fall in love with me this big guy come on Big dude, come. Big dude. Dude, dude, come on. It can be a little tricky. Oh my god, it became huge. Uh, so it can be a little tricky. So it's just all random. I'll, I'll get my last eight here. Uh, no, okay. Maybe it's just hard to fall in love with me. I guess I'm not that likable, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get, like I said, my last eight of these and I'll see you guys in step number five. All right, guys, for step number five, all we have to do is defeat three invaders and you can just wait around in Dragonfire Peaks or wherever you are going. And then every 10 minutes, there is going to be some invaders and those are going to be the Hickbuck uh, Buck invaders. And you can just go about your day and that will complete you. Basically, when they drop down, you can defeat them. And if you have more people together, more will drop together and you can get it done pretty quickly. But if you want to do it even quicker, you can actually go to the uh, Evershores of Everdark. It doesn't matter if you go to... Uh, uh, nine or eight uh, but if you go to the shore saver dark there's these dungeons where you get your class gym and these actually also work towards it and i just tried it with this one here to see if it actually worked because i got a little hint that it might be working so all you have to do is just wait around and defeat this you do have to get like 5,000 power rank but see that one actually counted as well and that was even not even an it counted as an invader and not as a like a, that one and i'm not sure if this one is going to do yeah it did as well so i'm actually done so i'm just going to leave this one right here because then everybody else can come here and get that one as well and you can just leave to reset it if you want to do so so i did that is just reset and we complete step number five so yeah source of everdark find yourself a dungeon you can see somebody else is also already here and again it doesn't have to be uh you know nine it can also be eight if you want to do so and just go in there and defeat this or just run around and it will drop from the sky at some point and you'll get these we only need three of them and they spawn every 10 minutes uh, next week i think this week is faster invasions that's why it is 10 minutes I think next week is going to be 15 minutes. So usually that's what it's all about. But if you want to get it quickly done as I just did, you just go to Shores Ever Dark, 
get yourself those invaders and if you can't do that just run around and it'll drop from you from all the prime world that these of course these inner circles not these outer ones so make sure you they don't drop they don't uh, spawn in these ones just make sure another in of course your top side either so just have to be this inner circle for some of the prime worlds for them as well maybe even this guy that actually just spawned right here might also work as well because there's also sometimes they used to drop here but that was step number five and now we can head into step number six all right, guys, for step number six, we have to help the Hegbox in the Geodin Cave. So first of all, you do have to go down here, go to the Sanctuary of the Geode, right? And you go down here and you actually spawn out up, right up there and then you just jump down here. We need to go into this portal here as well. I do want to give a little bit of a tip to get some of these crits, uh, critters quest you can pick this one up as well just to do this one at the same time because it works at the same time i'm pretty sure usually it does so uh, you're gonna help this one for the quest and then i think the other quest is down here and that's 15 so of course it's a little bit more than you have here but you can do five extra and you complete this one as well at the same time for doing this one as well so let me head into the veins as well if you haven't been here before this is the, the Geogen Caves. There is some modules. There's a bunch of stuff to it. But yeah, as you can see right here, we're just going to accept all of this. And we're just going to head in a direction and we'll see if somebody is going to have some of them. Uh, I can see there is a one right here. And I can see that's an egg. So you are going to get that egg. All you have to do is just walk into it. You get one of the eggs. Um, I do have a mod that shows it. So it might be showing a little bit more. Uh, this looks like a cave that somebody already has been through. So if it's a one you have been through, you can see there's one over here that you have to down, throw down some food for. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get ourselves some food on our bar. That's the meat thing. And let's throw down that, that one. And it should be helping it. And it should go over and eat it if it actually wanted to. Uh, there we go. Now it's eating it. There we go. <laughs> it just take, took a little bit of a try. So that just has to be, it takes a little while for it to, to count. But uh, yeah, then there's one down here as well. It should work as well. Let's see if it yeah, did. So I'm going to do 15, throw down the food for this one. So it can be the, all the ones you are used to, you know, the blankets, the the food, the health and stuff like that. So I do also have a mod that's in the mod pack as well, if you want to see them as well. So we're just going to continue here through this one. And they're only in this cave here. So it doesn't matter which one it is in. So it's just a little easier to see it with the mod. I know that, of course, they don't have it. Oh, we got the broken bones. Uh, let's see, where's the health thing? That's right there. So we're going to throw that one down there. And it has to be in the in the thing there. So that, that one also helps. Should get it number three. So you can, you can move away from it. It doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I'm also going pretty slow here. So uh, there's a guy there as well. So yeah, this shows you where all of... And this one is freezing. And now all of these are also the new ones. The new that... You can get the old ones and the new ones. So you don't have to be the old or the new. Uh, just These are all the new ones that we got with this patch here as well. Or this event here. So that one is helping as well. And that guy is also getting them. So you can do it together. And that should be helping it. It food. And we should be in seven. Let's see if we... And now we are going to be little bit up here as well uh, we should be using all of these oh it's actually sort of elusive now I think that's a change they have made it okay when you use the path yeah see I became uh, transparent there so yeah and somebody might already have been through here so that's you can see the explosions if you if it uh, is like this for you um, first of all you can see people on the radar but if it looks like this it might be somebody through it as well uh, I can see somebody's up there, so we can know it's move here. You can see the person and the egg, and also she should get the egg as well uh, if you are there. So just move into it. Um, let's see. Let's throw down the healing thing, and that guy should also get it. Uh, so the egg to just walk into, and that's an that's the new ones you have to incubate in there. I think I want to get all of them now, and don't know if that guy is on the other. But now we're actually in in uh, number two here. There's both an egg and a guy. So let me get that one. Heal up, little buddy. Let's help you guys. And that one as well should be number 10, right? Was that number 10 or number... Oh, that was number 10. Okay, cool. I'm going to get the last five as well. Uh, just going to move on here. And I will see you guys in the, the last step uh, with the eggs. So see you guys in step number seven. All right, for step number seven, we have to hatch one of these eggs and your eggs. If you don't know where they are, they are not in here. They're actually down here in the last tab 
right here. And then you can see there is your he bugs, heck bugs, eggs. You also get one from step number six. So make sure you claim it from here. But you do get them in there in case you saw them in the last step as well. So you're going to go ahead and do that one. I think you can also do the ones that are last. But then we go over here on the left. And there's a lot of people here, but here's the incubator. I've un unlocked all three slots, but you just need to get one of them. And as you can see, when you open this one, they are grayed out and you can then see this is the only ones. These are the ones from last year. So I'm not gonna catch these. I'm gonna hatch these as well. I'm gonna hatch all three of them as well. And it only takes 14 seconds. <laughs> these are the ones that accelerate basically, it makes it even faster. But as you can see right here, they are what they're gonna do. So these are the ones that usually are the best. I don't know how these are as well, but you can see now my eggs are already ready and you can also open them there so there we go uh, let me open right here so it should be there okay so that's that's the one of the new ones and that's another new one and then you want to get it of course in uh, the purple uh, the blue sorry in the blue so this one is green I want one in the uh, in the one other one so I'm just gonna hatch these two as well so you want in a blue that's the best ones you can get that's the level four ones these are uncommon and common uh, these as well are some that you want to get for uh, you know some mastery as well and you can get more of them as well so I'm gonna hatch these two hopefully we'll get some other ones as well Let's see what we got. Uh, so yeah, these are all common ones as well. So I'm gonna go there and get some more eggs. So I got all of them as well. Again, you want the ones that are like blue, as you can see right here, these are the ones that are the best ones. So you wanna get those ones as well. So you can, of course, you can hack, hack, hatch these ones as well, but you, I want the new ones here as well, cause they are awesome. So yeah, that's gonna complete it as well. Also for, I'm pretty sure um, I saw this. I'm just gonna open a few of these. Because uh, these contain, as it says, crystals and eggs, banners, and sometimes a kicker, uh, which I think is an ally or something like that. So we're going to go here and we're going to open some of these here before we end. There we got one of the old eggs, actually. So we can get the old eggs in this one as well, the ones from last year. And there was a new one. There was one of the new eggs. And of course, we can get some more of these. And there was some more of these as well. So let me go ahead and hatch these two eggs real quick because it only... 14 seconds it could be more but uh, yeah but that's gonna be it for the uh, completion of the uh, quest line uh, nothing really much more to say if you want more of it you can do one of these these that this one only need one of them i actually got a uh, one a baby here so i can't trade this one as well so maybe i can send it this is the one where you send them to the afterlife basically so i'm gonna send you can also send uh, this one as well uh, I think we have one of these here. Okay, is that some of I had from last year? It is some I had for last year. Uh, I don't really want that one, I think, because, uh, oh, I can see what they upgrade into. You can upgrade them over here, by the way, and see what they give. So can, this is also the things that they want to, the vacuum. Oh yeah, that's why. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to keep this one here. This one is, is the blue one. Uh, so we want to get that one as well. So those two as well, let me see right here. So we got another uncommon and this one as well. So we can see what these uncommon do and they all do different things. This is in charge one plus to rocket boost and then thumper. Uh, so this is probably not something I want to get. This one is barrier, yeah barrier. Vacuum cooldown is pretty nice and barrier cost, we're not, that's not really nice. And they all give the same, so it doesn't matter which one. It's just that they give different on what quality they are and stuff like that. Um, so some is better actually sometimes the, the smaller ones are better than the big ones So I'll see which one is gonna be the best but um, yeah these you can play around and see them But I'm going to send them all to the afterlife and because I am not going to use any of these But I am gonna keep you know the you can see I have some these ones smaller ones because they can give some nice boost as well and yeah um, Don't know if where my I usually use one of the other ones. So yeah, anyways Take care, guys. I'm just rambling on from the last year. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. It helped me out very much and super much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to remind you guys about that. You know, you don't, you know, you know, right? <laughs> anyways, take care, guys. See you soon. And again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.